Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International with Samar Arjawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, received a cable of good wishes from the National Guard Commander, General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, on the 26th anniversary of the National Guard. In his cable, the Commander of the National Guard extended sincere congratulations and best wishes to His Majesty the King, affirming the patronage of His Majesty the King for the National Guard since its establishment. His Highness affirmed that the National Guard has become the basis for the security and defense system in the Kingdom, thanks to the unlimited support of His Majesty the King. He also praised the visions of His Majesty the King that contributed to the achievements of the National Guard in performing their national duties and protecting the Kingdom's security and achievements. He affirmed the allegiance to continue the efforts wishing His Majesty the King lasting good health and happiness. His Majesty the King sent a reply cable to the National Guard commander where he praised the role of the National Guard in protecting the gains of the Kingdom alongside the BDF and public security units, working together in maintaining the security and stability of the country. His Majesty hailed the achievements of the National Guard since its establishment and wished them success in making further accomplishments and supporting the Kingdom's march. His Majesty congratulated the Commander and all the affiliates of the National Guard on the occasion and wished them further success. Following the directives of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and an honorary president of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and under the patronage of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Endurance Championship will be held at the Bahrain International Endurance Village. It will be sponsored by Timkeen in addition to ASCON. The Royal Federation held their veterinary examination for the championship and numbering of the horses amid wide participation. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed his appreciation for the support that the endurance sport enjoys from His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, pointing out that this support contributes directly to the continued development of the Bahraini endurance. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the races will be exceptional and will certainly witness excitement, enthusiasm and strong competition as it's going to be held after a series of strong races that took place during the season, the last of which was the coming National Day Championship races. His Highness praised the support of Tamkin and Askan for the races which affirms their keenness to support the youth and sports sectors in the Kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad welcomed all the riders and stables participating in the race, wishing them best of luck and success. The Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa International Cup race will be held for a distance of 160 kilometers and an international 120 kilometer race and an international and local race for a distance of 100 kilometers in addition to the local qualifying races for a distance of 80 and 40 kilometers. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed pleasure at the victory of the horse RB Rich Like Me from the victorious team in the Dubai World Cup Carnival in the first round of the Al Maktoum Challenge. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa affirmed that the Dubai World Carnival is considered one of the major tournaments in the world, which also witnesses a large participation of the world's best knights and prestigious horses indicating that Bahraini equestrian is moving steadily towards further development and prosperity, especially since this victory comes and confirms the high capabilities of Bahrain's equestrians, which are distinctively reflected in the foreign participation. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the efforts of Fauzi Nas in preparing the horse and the successful leadership of the Dutch jockey Adri de Vries, wishing the achievements of the victorious team to continue in international forums. The horse RB Rich Like Me won the first round of the Al Maktoum Challenge for the first category for a distance of one mile on the sandy ground. Within the framework of his visit to Bahrain upon the invitation of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the Prime Minister and Minister of Defense of Jordan, Dr. Bishr Al Khassauna, visited the headquarters of Bahrain Economic Development Board. Upon arrival, the Jordanian Premier was received by the Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and a number of ministers and officials. The Deputy Premier welcomed the visit of the Jordanian Minister 
and his accompanying delegation, hailing the historic brotherly relations between the two countries, which receives the support of His Majesty the King and Jordan's monarch. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah noted that the development of the joint work between Bahrain and Jordan through the Bahraini-Jordanian Joint Higher Committee meeting for the benefit of both countries. The Jordanian Prime Minister was briefed by the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, on the work mechanism of the Bahraini government, which included a summary of the Kingdom's economy performance, the developments of the economic recovery plan, and what has been achieved in terms of promoting economic growth in accordance with Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030. They also reviewed the promising opportunities in Bahrain offered by the Economic Development Board to investors and ways to promote investment between Bahrain and global markets, which contributed to attracting direct investments to the kingdom to create more equality opportunities for citizens. The third joint meeting between the Parliamentary Committee in charge of studying the government program and the government team was held, co-chaired by the Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed Limsallam and the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khaled bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The executive and legislative branches reached a consensus on the amendment priorities of the government program. 
Al-Musallam highlighted the consensus on priorities aimed to enhance citizens' standard of living, stressed the keenness of the Council of Representatives and the government to achieve national aspirations and goals in line with the directives of His Majesty the King. He lauded the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to support joint cooperation and achievements benefiting the nation and the citizens. He pointed out that the Bahraini citizens will remain always the focus of development and the pillar of national action. The Deputy Prime Minister stressed the importance of enhancing joint work between the executive and the legislative branches and building on coordination which contributes to achieving the goals of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King. He said that citizens represent the ultimate goal of all development projects, plans and initiatives, reiterating the government's keenness on supporting joint cooperation with the legislative branch to move from the phase of recovery to sustainable growth. The Saudi Minister of Energy, His Royal Highness Prince Abdelaziz bin Salman bin Abdelaziz Al Saud received the Sustainable Development Minister Noor bint Ali Al Khalif. Sustainable Development Minister hailed the solid fraternal relations binding the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, led by His Majesty the King and the custodian of the two holy mosques. She noted the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister. She stressed the importance of continued efforts and exchanging expertise in all the development fields, including investing in the renewable energy sector and doubling its sources. During the meeting, they discussed issues of common interest in various fields of energy and ways to enhance cooperation and partnership, especially in energy projects, in a manner that achieves the common interests of the two countries. And the Minister of Sustainable Development, Noor bint Ali Al Khalif, hailed the strong fraternal relations binding the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, led by His Majesty the King and the custodian of the two holy mosques. The Minister of Sustainable Development noted the growing cooperation between the two countries, supported by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia. She made a statement as she met the Saudi Minister of Economy and Planning, Faisal bin Fadl Al Ibrahim to discuss joint cooperation and exchanging expertise in addition to adopting strategies and initiatives supporting sustainable development goals. The Kingdom of Bahrain is rich in an open competitive environment that supports its economic growth and contributes to stimulating creativity and increasing quality opportunities for the citizens. This environment has made the Kingdom an ideal destination for investment and a center of attraction for various regional and international companies. In 2022, the Bahrain Economic Development Board, the Kingdom's Investment Promotion Agency, supported by Team Bahrain, attracted over 1.1 billion US dollars of direct investment, a record year for the Kingdom's Investment Promotion Agency. The investments are from 88 companies and are expected to generate over 6,300 jobs in the local market over the next three years. The investments are in key sectors including financial services, ICT, logistics, manufacturing and tourism. Under the economic recovery plan, Bahrain will continue to enhance its business environment to increase foreign direct investment by more than 2.5 billion US dollars by 2023. This includes streamlining commercial procedures to increase their effectiveness and ease business setup. This year, Bahrain ranked first in multiple global indices, including the first in MENA for financial freedom, investment freedom and trade freedom, according to the Heritage Foundation Index of Economic Freedom 2022, and first in MENA for economic freedom, according to the Fraser Institute. The Technical Personnel Development Program continues to receive applications from graduates and job seekers with technical specializations to participate in the program. The registration period continues until Sunday, the 8th of January. The program works to provide intensive training in the various departments of the technical authority while granting a monthly salary to all the trainees. The program will contribute to the development of expertise and professional and training skills among Bahraini youth in the technical field, which qualifies them to assume the technical leadership positions following their graduation. The Kingdom of Bahrain has won three awards in the institutional field from the Government Excellence Award for the years 2021-2022. This came during a ceremony held at the headquarters of the Arab League in Cairo in cooperation between the Arab Organization for Administrative and Development and the Government of the United Arab Emirates. 
the project of computerizing the Bahraini courts and the complete transformation from the paper system to the electronic system, which was launched by the Ministry of Justice, was crowned and Islamic affairs and endowments in the kingdom as the best government development initiative. The My Digital Library project launched by the Ministry of Education in the Kingdom of Bahrain won the Best Project Award Arab Government for the Development of Education, while the Telemedicine and Treatment project, which was implemented by the Bahraini Ministry of Health through Primary Health Care Centers Best Arab Government Project Award for the Development of the Health Sector. The third national training program was held at the headquarters of the Institute of Judicial and Legal Studies to enhance the capacities of those concerned with the protection of human rights in the criminal justice system. The program was organized by the Special Investigation Unit in cooperation with the United Nations Development Program, the Royal Academy of Police and the Institute of Judicial and Legal Studies. The program dealt with the most prominent international standards related to the rights of detained inmates and others related to the safety of the detention environment, individualizing punitive treatment, and encouraging the shift to non-custodial penalties and measures. It also covered independent judicial supervision of correction and rehabilitation centers to guarantee the rights of inmates and detainees.